Now that we know how to draw the curved arrows, let's get some practice on drawing resonance structures for some molecules. We will mostly use bond line formulas because it is easy to draw the curved arrows with such diagrams. And so if we have this compound where we have a double bond here and then let's attach an oxygen here and give it a minus charge. And let's see the resonance structure for this compound. So out of these negative charge and the, the richer one in electrons is this negative charge. So it will move down to form a bond here. And what that will do is that it will cause this carbon present here to have five bonds. And therefore this double bond here will break. And create a negative charge on this carbon atom. And so the resonance structure that we have here is there will be a double bond between the carbon and oxygen atom and the oxygen atom will lose its negative charge because the electrons shifted and the carbon atom on the right will now have a negative charge. So that is the resonance structure for this compound. So what we learn here is that the negative charge will move to form a double bond you know, the negative charge created a double bond here and the double bond present to the adjacent carbon will then break and transfer the charge to the further atom. And if you verify the net charge on this left resonance structure is one negative and the net charge on the right structure is also negative one. Let's try to draw the resonance structures of benzene. So the first structure of benzene is this and we have no charges but we have only double bonds here and let's try to move these bonds around. So what happens here is this bond will move and come here to form a double bond. Now you know that there is a hydrogen present on this carbon. So if you form a bond here between these two carbons then the carbon with the hydrogen will have five bonds two bonds here two four and one five and we cannot break sigma bonds during resonance so what we will do is we will shift this double bond further and with the same logic this double bond at the bottom will shift to the left and so the resonance structure that we will end up with is like that and the bonds will exchange their position and we get something like this. So that is the resonance structure for benzene. Let's try to draw the resonance structure for this species. So we have a plus charge here which is adjacent to the double bond. And so this double bond will move towards this plus charge first and what we get is a structure where we have a double bond between the carbon and CH2 group and what that does is that the plus charge that was on the CH2 will now be present on this carbon and we have bonds like this. Now focus on this area here. Once again you have a plus charge that is adjacent to a double bond. So this double bond will shift towards this plus charge and that will create a positive charge on this carbon and we get another resonance structure where we have shifted the plus charge from this top carbon atom to this third carbon atom here and we get a double bond at that position. Take your attention to this section now and you can once again see that there is a plus charge adjacent to a double bond and so once again this double bond will shift and we will get another structure 
where we have a double bond CH2 here and a double bond here, a double bond here and there is a plus charge on this carbon now. And finally, you can once again see that we have a double bond present next to a plus charge and so there will be one more shift. This double bond will come here and that will generate a plus charge back on this CH2 group and we will have this structure and that's how we know that we have drawn all the resonance structures because we have got the plus charge at the same group where we started with and that's how we know that we have drawn all the resonance structures because the plus charge is back at the same carbon from where we started drawing the structures. So finally, we can just draw double arrows here to indicate that all of these are resonance structures. So how many resonance structures are possible here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 resonance structures for this species. Now here is one more rule for you. More resonance means more stability. The more resonating structures you have, the more stable the species will be. So this species is going to be very very stable. Okay, let's try to draw the resonance structure for this compound. We have OH here and we call it phenol. It is a very important alcohol when you reach class 12th. So here is one important thing to keep in mind. While drawing resonance, always look for conjugation. And by conjugation, what I mean is look for alternate double single bonds. Alternate sigma pi bonds. So always try to look for conjugations. So we can see that we have alternate double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond here. And so we are going to draw the resonance structure for this compound. And we know that oxygen has two lone pairs here. This lone pair will come here to form a bond and that will cause this bond to break. And we have our first resonance structure where we have a double bond with oxygen and an H atom. Because the lone pairs came down to form a bond, oxygen will get a plus charge and the carbon atom here will get a minus charge. And, the, and then we draw the rest of the molecule as it is. So this is the first resonance structure. Now focus on this region. Once again we have a negative charge that is next to the double bond. So this negative charge will come here to form the bond and this double bond will break and shift the negative charge to another position. And then what we have is this structure where we have OH, oxygen has a plus charge like in the previous structure and a double bond was created here and negative charge was shifted on the bottom carbon and then we have the double bond to the right. Once again, you have a negative charge that is next to a double bond. So once again, the shifting will take place. The negative charge will come here to form a bond and the bond will break to shift the negative charge and we have our next resonance structure and that is a double bond here and a double bond was formed here. We got a negative charge on this carbon and double bond O H plus charge. Finally, look at this region here. 
we have a negative charge next to a double bond once again the negative charge will go to form a bond and this pi bond will break to give electrons to the oxygen atom and what we have is a structure where we draw bonds like this so these are the resonating structures for phenol the net charge in the first structure is zero in the second structure we have one plus and one minus charge so net charge is also zero similarly you can verify for each of these structures the net charge is going to be zero so that is how you draw resonance structure guys in the next video we will take a look at the stability of resonance structures and get some more practice on drawing resonance see you in the next video.